Hello guys, welcome back to part 5 of the Ratchet & Clank HD walkthrough. This is part 5 and in the last episode we were exploring that space station there and we got ourselves the Hydro Displacer. Um, we are now on planet Rilgar, which is Blackwater City. So, let's see if there's anything new here in shop. We have mine gloves, but those aren't really too great, so we're not gonna buy it until a long time, I think. Uh, or perhaps we'll see. So, we will take the. Uh, as you can see in the beginning, there was two paths. We could take the swing shot one over there, or we could take this one, so I decided to take this one. Um, just because th that is what I always do. Gotta do what you always do. Okay, attack him, please. What the heck? What was that? That was pathetic. Alright. Oh! Wow! That tank did not take a lot to take down, that's for sure. Wow. Alright. Boxes. Really awesome. And I hope that this video does not lag. Because I'm actually rendering part 4 now of the Ratchet and Clank series in 60 FPS. 20 megabytes per second um, video so it's gonna be really intensive over my computer so hopefully this video will not lag because of because of that but uh, we'll see if it does then I'm gonna stop recording while rendering at the same time um, and hopefully you will not hear my PC in the background uh, because you know I'm rendering so the fan might get a little loud, I don't know. Uh, but uh, hopefully it will be fine. Okay, let's just use the bomb glows on these fools. Awesome. We wrecked them. The bomb blow is actually really good. It, it has a lot of damage. On the demo version of this map, you can actually go through this wall right here. You could go straight through it. And, uh,. That you could go onto the taxi from that wall. That's, that's really cool. You could walk between walls. And that was just the most awesome thing ever. Wow, we wrecked them pretty hard there. With our flamethrower. Gotta take all the bolts. And uh, conveniently, there's a taxi here, so that's always good. Always good. So, wow, this is like a battlefield. But I have the strongest weapon. Wow, we missed a lot of uh, boxes. Hopefully the video will not take forever to render that quality. I've, I've tried to have as high quality as, as I can. Uh, but my PC is really, really getting old now. And, uh, and uh, my internet isn't too great either, so... Alright, let's talk to this guy. 
I know for your robot. Trade you. Well, okay. Ratchet. I'm kidding. Sorry, he's not for sale. What's a rhino, anyway? Rip you a new one. What did you just say to me? R-Y-N-O. Rip you a new one. Why, that's the most powerful missile launcher in the galaxy. I know it's worth a lot of bolts. He must have stolen it from the Blarg. Stolen? Look, trash can. Did I say anything about it being hot? You better watch your mouth or I'll... Wait, don't tell me. Rip you a new one. So, he wants 150,000 bolts for the Rhino, which is the best weapon in this game. And we're not gonna get that legit, I'm gonna tell you that. This is actually the map where we are going to do the bolt glitch. But that will, be, will not be until the end of the game where we will buy the Rhino. We are not going to buy it now because we would be way too overpowered, and it would not make the fun. That it would not make the game any fun. All right, let's get our asses down there. Wow, that was a lot. Really awesome. We're owning them. It doesn't seem like the video is lagging. I'm watching it on my second monitor now. And it doesn't seem like it to me, so hopefully it isn't. Which always is a good thing. And now we're getting up to one of the gold locations. So, in the demo version of this map, you could. There is the gold bolt. You could actually do this. And then stand on top of, of this door. You could stand there and there from. You could strafe over over the top of that thing and, and get into the gold bolt. Which was really, really convenient. But uh, they patched it, or they fixed it for the release, sadly. I wanted to blow the case. Okay, let's own that tank. Wow, that did not take a lot. Okay guys, before you go from there, if you're playing this game, you want to... Ah, oh crap. You have to go down. You have to stand on top of this thing here, and then strafe your way over here. Because this is where you get the gold bolt, so... I'm gonna be a daredevil and try to do this in big speed. If possible. We did it. Not hard at all. Alright. So, we are pretty much done here. Done fighting at least. So, let's talk to this lovely lady over here. Welcome to the Hovercon Intergalactic Hoverboard Competition. Captain Quark's giving away a brand new Platinum Zoomerator to the winner of this competition. A Platinum Zoomerator? 
Perhaps that will be the proof of your accomplishments that Skid's agent requires. Wait, do you guys mean Skid McMarks? Yeah, Skid couldn't make it, so we're here to, you know, fill in for him. Guess we'll see about that. So now we are going to do the horrible races. And here it is. It's actually a little bit difficult. We have to build up some good speeds to catch them. And, uh... Yeah, there's three laps, I think. Yeah, three laps and uh, I don't know how many competitors there is. Or there are, I guess, is the best English. Whee! It's actually really fun. This is one of the mini games that I like the most in the Rush Tech Neck games. We're actually in second place. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Oh, first place. Wow. We are wrecking it. We are wrecking it. Oh, we missed that one. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. We got this, guys. Our, there's still room for errors. Oh, almost failed. I'll cheese it. I jump around the corner. Have to make cheese. Alright. Do you guys know why it's called cheese? Because I do not. When you cheese something. Yeah, doing tricks. Yeah. Okay, we should have this. Hi, folks. Captain Quark here. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce this year's Hovercon Intergalactic Champions. Let's give it up for newcomers. Ratchet and Clank. Hey, look. That's us. Today's winners will take home a brand new professional grade Model T-15 Platinum Zoomerator. Manufactured by Gadgetron, this hoverboard drive delivers more lift, speed, and maneuverability than any other anti-grab device on the market. Well, folks, that's all the time we have. Tonight, remember to set your info bots to the Quark Classic channel for tonight's episode of Dogfight Over Death Canyon, starring yours truly. Thank you, and have a Quarktastic day. All right. We now have the price that Skid Skid McMark's agent wanted, and then he will give us a reward. So that's something we're going to do in this episode, I think. What? Come on. There you go. So now we are actually going to go on this side, but as you can see, we cannot open it on this side. So we'll have to do a little detour. And this is where the hydro displays are going to play. Let me just check the video I'm rendering. Wow! Five hours of rendering time. It will take five hours? That is ridiculous. Ridiculous indeed. Alright. I'm actually gonna cancel it because I can't do that. I can't sit there for five hours and not use my computer. Uh, so I will have to reduce the quality. <laughs> So now we need our hydro displacer, so we'll equip it. Alright, so now we got the water in the gadget. 
And, we can, and now we use it to pump water out again. Like this. Pretty sweet. that and then we need to go back and fill it in again. Wow, <laughs> we missed a little bit there I think. Uh, crap, now we're gonna get that water glitch. Water bar glitch on the side. This is always fun. Hola Vesa. Okay, we now have time on us. We have a timer. And here's actually a gold bolt. If you go down to the right from that platform that leads up. If you go to the right here, there's actually a gold bolt there, but we do not have a time have the time now, so we're gonna go back when we have a tool that is able to make us breathe underwater. Infinitely. We need to be quick. Right, let's go Ratchet. Quickly now. The water is rising. Woo! Go, go, go! Ratchet. Good. You beast. We did it. Hey, hey, hey. Press conference is over. Captain Quark don't want no more reporters bugging him in his trailer. Oh, you see, my friend and I need to speak to the captain about a matter of galactic security. You mean you and your walking camera? You paparazzi make me sick. Now beat it! But, sir, I'm sure the Captain Quark won't understand once we... Now, now, save it. I know how it works. You convince me to let you in, you snap a picture of the captain in his underpants, underpants. then you sell a picture to the info tabloid for a million volts! You've got it all wrong! Meanwhile, I'm stuck here making six bolts an hour, and I have to listen to a lecture from that cheapskate quark. So you don't get in unless I get a kickback. In advance. So now we have to pay this guy 4,000 bolts, so he's going to break us financially. But we'll have to do it. You see how it works. You grease the hinges, the door opens. Captain Quark. What's that? It's Ratchet and Clank, Captain. You know, from the hub. Oh, yes, yes, I know who you are. You do? Yes, and thank the galaxy you found me. Huh? There's an awful plot being hatched to destroy our planets. Ratchet, he knows. Great. Does that mean we can go hoverboarding now? My friends, we're all in grave danger. And I believe that together, we can put a stop to this madness. Together? You mean you want our help? Look, Ratchet. I've been keeping an eye on you, and I've never seen anyone with such raw talent. You are a true hero in the making. Really? You mean, I could be famous? Oh, absolutely. Oh, here, take this. What makes one man toil in obscurity while another becomes a hero? Is it strength, compassion, determination, or just pure blind luck? Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question, but Captain Quark knows the secret. That's why he's been able to defeat more despots, rescue more damsels in distress, and save more civilizations than any other hero in the galaxy. Now is your opportunity to see if you've got the stuff heroes are made of. 
This infobot contains coordinates to Quark's secret base. Can you quickly conquer Quark's killer cannonade of confounded concoction? Can you quickly quark? Can can you quarkly quick? Oh, just make your way through the defenses to the center of the base. Prove yourself. Learn the secret and earn your place in galactic history. Consult your doctor before attempting any strenuous exercise. Not responsible for death or dismemberment. Your results may vary. Meet me at... Uh, uh, meet me at my headquarters. Hey, Captain Ratchet. What do you think? We won't fail you, sir. We promise. All right. Now we will go away from this place and we will go back to outpost and uh, get the reward from the guy and everything will be just cool so I don't think I'm gonna rendering render 60 FPS videos guys way too l it takes way too long time to to render for me I'm gonna render in 30 FPS so we can now go to Quarks HQ, but we will first go to Outpost X11 and get the reward. Because rewards are awesome. And that's that. Planet Arena. Alright. We will need to use this thingamajig. Beautiful stuff. Fantastic! You got it! Great work, kid. So, are you gonna represent me? You bet, kid. And as a signing bonus, I've got... this. Cool helmet. That is a sonic summoner. It is used to attract sand mice. Right, then it's all yours. <laughs> well, I'm off to finalize the paperwork. <laughs> I'll have my people call your people. Do you have people? The Sonic Summoner allows you to interact with the mysterious and intelligent sand mice species. Despite their innocent appearance, sand mice are very effective and aggressive hunters. Simply equip the Sonic Summoner when you are near a sand mouse house and a mouse will emerge to greet you. If the mouse likes you, it may offer a bit of high caliber tactical assistance. This gadget is actually really cool. It's not too useful because there's almost no mice spawning places. But it's still pretty cool. I like it. So, we will go to Quark's HQ now. On planet Umbris. Really good guts, I like it, I like it a lot. And this is also a really cool planet. It's actually a little bit challenging as well, but um, it's, it's a really good. Is there anything new here? Nope. Alright, but this will be the end of this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and also subscribe if you want to see some more of me in the future. See ya.